catch the HMV sale with up to 70% off in-store and online at hmv.co.uk. Retailer HMV is going into administration. The store's been struggling with competition. With more people having access to the internet on their phones, digital music streaming is becoming the favoured alternative to analogue listening, and it's so easily done. Music sharing platforms allow listeners to stream tunes without having to go out, purchase the album and wait until they are back home to play it. Spotify is one of these platforms and has over 191 million listeners per month. Users are able to go premium for as little as 4 99 per month, enabling them to download and listen to the albums on the go without any adverts. SoundCloud, another music sharing platform, is free to use and has over 175 million monthly listeners. But as we see job cuts and businesses fall into administration, is this step forward damaging to the industry? I decided to find out what effect this is having on the quality of the music produced and the people producing it. It plays a role, I mean, so you can look at, uh, say, SoundCloud, Spotify, it's got its role, you know, it's, it's very easy for people to just put music out there, perhaps even, you know, make a name for themselves. But on the other hand, uh, like things like Spotify especially, uh, have been really damaging to music in general, simply because uh, pure economics, you know. So, I mean, if you're an artist, uh, you know, you can get a hell of a lot of plays, but hardly any money. So a lot of artists have turned around and going, well, actually, streaming's not really paying for us. And, you know, so like people are consuming our music and are able to listen on demand, really. But, you know, we're not getting any money for it, so a lot of artists are kind of shying away. But, you know, digital is around, it'll never go away, it's great. You know, the internet's been really liberating, but also it's been quite damaging as well. So it, it swings in roundabouts, really. So I think artists really need physical product to sell because they can actually make a living from it. Uh, but it's becoming harder and harder, streaming platforms, you know, the force to go on it and if, if people are consuming your music but not actually paying for it properly, they just subscribe it, the artist loses out but the, you know, I guess the streaming services really gain a lot of money so it's kind of an unfair sort of advantage really. Though the platforms may not be seen as financially beneficial, the ease of an instant upload system has allowed many to kickstart their music careers. So in the first year of uni, I got garage band on my phone and I started writing some pretty awful songs. Um, but I eventually got to some that I really liked and I put one on SoundCloud, um, which I recorded using equipment that I, I bought like secondhand and set up in my room, um, an interface, um, a Mac, Logic, um, pretty standard and not, you know, like the highest quality equipment, but it's just what I could afford for my room um, and I put it on SoundCloud and it got a pretty decent reaction um, and that sort of encouraged me to look into getting a band together. The main reason why we've been able to um, sort of not fast track our career as a band but um, that it's not taken as long as it might have done um, at a different point in time in the past is because we were able to not only record our own music but put it online um, which would have been done through a record company which usually takes a long time for people to get involved with. So SoundCloud was great for that because you'd have to pay for it, you could just upload it. Um, and venues often ask for links um, to websites like SoundCloud and Spotify as well. Being able to go through lots of different um, streaming sites is always really useful because everyone's using so many different platforms at the moment. I think that if it wasn't for SoundCloud, not only SoundCloud but all of the sites online that allow you to distribute and create your own music, we 
wouldn't be able to do all the things we've done. One Leeds-based duo have turned their city centre flat into a practice and recording space. Ready? Yeah. skill that you can you know develop and learn yeah but I think that the, it can lead you to overthink things and Definitely. just work on things forever yeah yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're like in a studio with like an external person producing you and in that environment it's that's good in a way because you can just focus on performing you can just focus on getting your take and there's someone else hands of the controls but you know Sometimes when you're doing it, like at home, you find that you're having to kind of switch between instrumentalist and producer mode and stuff like that, and you can just get you can get a bit too deep into it. But equally, doing it by yourself has its benefits because you learn so much. Like you I learn so, how yeah. to. Like Dan does more of a kind of engineering side of it, and he's more technically minded. But I just pick up a, picked up a lot of that from him, and then you know it's just it's quite an educational experience. I suppose. So what will this mean for traditional music? And are we removing the magic of it in the process? I don't think it's taking away, but it's allowing people to do more different things, mm. personally. I don't think there's anyone who's going, oh, they're stealing my business by, you know, doing... Because it's just created more genres and different artists. Yeah. I think. Yeah. It's like more quantity. It's like having more channels on the telly. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's tons and tons of channels, but there's not, they're not themed very much. There's just kind of stuff everywhere, and that can be really good. But it also means that you have to fight a lot harder to be seen and heard through all of that massive quantity of stuff. It doesn't all have to be career-based, though. Some see the luxury of home recording as a personal hobby. They're going to come back. Come back. Personally, like to sample and make hip hop and sort of draw from music that's already been made. But you you've got all the instruments, drum kits, everything. I got a bit bored of playing guitar. I started downloading. Uh, I think I downloaded a cracked version of Fruit Loops, uh, which I wouldn't recommend legally. But just to get into the grips of starting to learn about drum programming, where the kick and the snare go. Just uh, yeah, literally no equipment apart from the software, and then started getting. A little MIDI keyboard just to learn chords and stuff on the keys. Yeah, it just developed from there. I think what is vital about being a, like the revolution of bedroom producers and, and musicians is that not everyone, including myself, has have been to a music college or had you know sort of had that financial backing from family or you know patrons or whatever that want you to push and make music. So really, for me, for example, like I said, with my sort of own story, is that I got into it purely from being able to mess about with it in my bedroom. None of my family were into music to teach me any of this stuff. It was purely just DIY, YouTube, and word of mouth with friends that were also into producing and just learning little ticks and tips and tricks. But is it really this simple? With some help from a friend, I attempted to mix and upload my own track to publish on SoundCloud.
All you need to create a SoundCloud account is a username, email address and content to share if you're wanting to do so. Like Spotify, those who are just listening are able to create accounts without the intention of uploading. Then, it's up to the internet to decide whether they'll listen or not. by Horses are a band that have seen great success over the past 10 years. The Leeds group signed to Transgressive Records in 2009. The band have used Soundcloud to publish their music since 2010 and have continued to do so. Soundcloud, it was kind of in its early kind of formation. Yeah, it was, a, it was an early thing. I don't think anybody was really using it at the time. It was more of a like, it's there, but it's not what it is now. And I think at the time, we were just basically putting, I was putting our music on anything and everything. It didn't matter what it was. It was like, if you can put your music on it and people can hear it, then it's going on. But obviously SoundCloud now has turned into, well, I guess it is kind of like a social platform really, because people do share and speak to each other and tag people in tracks and stuff. And it's completely different to what it, once was it was just like an audio player but now it's like almost like a streaming platform really they believe that it's crucial that vinyl and other physical copies of music live on and aren't left behind as technology progresses but if don't get me wrong spotify is amazing but it's it's become kind of difficult if you're a new artist i, I kind of feel like spotify isn't really the way forward because you just, it's its become, it's, it's the biggest music library in the world, isn't it? So everything's there. And when you go on Spotify, you've got to look for it. You've got to, you turn the app on and you go, uh, I still struggle with it now. When I get bored of music, I'm like, I don't know what to put on. You know, if you have like a vinyl or CD collection, it's all there. You're like, oh, sh yeah, I've listened to that. Anything, whether it's video games or something, you kind of want to be able to hold to be like I like this and I've got this and it's mine and put it with the others and stuff it's like I think that's really important with music streaming's amazing I used to be really against it um, when I was doing my label obviously but now it's like it is it's not the only way but it is that's how people listen to music now and, you know like it, like it, when we put our next record out, it's like it's got to be out on vinyl. Like it has to be because that's kind of that's what that's what we're about, and that's the kind of sound we're going for with the next record and stuff. Like like the whole rock and roll thing. So yeah, definitely, it's, 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 it makes loads of sense.